I don't really understand this. We asked to solve this, okay? We asked to find the volume of the right triangular prism above. That is the first thing you need to know. What type of prism is this? Is a right triangular prism. That should come to our head first, right? Okay, if this is a right triangular prism, that means that the base of this prism is what? This place. That means this is how it is supposed to be. It's supposed to stand on this right angled triangle. That means the base is what? This particular place. So it's supposed to stand like this. If I'm to draw it well now, it's supposed to stand like this. Then this base should be what? A right angle. I don't know how to draw it, but it's supposed to be something like this. You understand? I'm not good at drawing. This one's supposed to be something like that again. So this right angle here supposed to be what? At the base. At the base. All right. Whereby this place, which is your right angle, this 13 cm supposed to be somewhere here. Then you have other parts of the right angle as 10 cm. So I'm just giving you an insight, okay? It means that the height is this 16 cm. Because if you stand it right, that means the height is what? This 16 cm. So what? how did we get that? We paid attention to what they wrote. They said a right triangular prism. It means that the base is what? The right angled triangle. Now, listen and pay attention to see why I emphasized on what the base is and how it will help us to find what? The volume of this particular shape that we drew. All right. When you have a prism, the formula for finding the uh, um, the volume of a prism is what? Is what? Area, volume. Okay, let's write solution first before we start, right? Says volume of what? A prism. The volume of a prism is equal to what? Area of the base or base area. The base area. You have your base area times the height. Base area times the height. Now, what is the base? The base is what? The right triangle. This right triangular. Now, what is the area of a right triangle? Area of any triangle is what? Half base times height. Right? Times this particular height. That is the height of the prism right now. This half base times height is what? The area of the base, which is what? The area of this triangle here. So that means that what we now focus on is what? Getting the area of this base. Now we have that the area of the base is half base times height. So that means half times, what is the base of this right angle triangle? Is this 10, right? This is the base, the 10 times, what is the height? Now this is the height. And the height of this triangle is not given to us. So we are looking for this hash. For us to get this hash, we are going to make use of what? The Pythagoras theorem. So let me draw this out. Let me leave this first. Let me draw out this right angle here so that we can get the height. This is what we have. And we have here to be what? 13 cm. This is our right angle. This is H that we are looking for. And this is 10 cm. Now, how do we get this H? You know that uh, according to Pythagoras theorem, this side that is facing this right angle is called the hypotenuse. And the Pythagoras theorem says that this side that is facing the right angle or the longest side of this triangle, that when you square it, that is 13 squared, okay? That it is equal to the sum of this squared plus this squared. So it's going to be h squared plus 10 squared. That is according to Pythagoras theorem. Now, we are looking for what? h squared. So I want this h squared to be on its own. So this plus 10 squared, we cross over to become minus 10 squared, right? To become minus 10 squared. So we are going to have 13 squared minus 10 squared because this plus we change to minus is equal to h squared. Now, 13 squared minus 10 squared is going to give us what? First of all, 13 squared is 169, okay? So we have 169 minus 10 squared is what? 100, 100 is equal to h squared. Okay, if you have followed me to this level, it means that you're actually enjoying what I'm doing. So please, I will ask you to subscribe at this point and also turn your notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, 
you will be notified so that you will join me as well. All right, please do that so that you don't miss me in my next video. Now, how do we get our so 169 minus 100 will give you what? 69 is equal to h squared. That means our hash now, for us to get our hash, we need to take square root of both sides, right? So it means that, see what we have here, that 69 is equal to h squared. Therefore, our hash, which means square root of h squared will give us hash, right? Is equal to square root of what? 69. Now, this implies that our hash is equal to, what is square root of 69? Okay, square root of 69 will give us 8 points. 3066. 8.3066. Let's call it 8.3066. Let's leave it like that. So this means that our H is what? 8.3066 centimeters. Now, having gotten that, we can now comfortably get what our base area and we can now solve this. So let's go ahead and solve it. Permit me to clean this once more. Let me just put everything in order. Okay. So that means that, that means that the volume of this prism, the volume is equal to what? Base area, base area times what? The height. Okay. Now we said that the base area is what? Half base times height, times this height here. Now this is equal to half times. Our base is what? 10. Okay. Over 1 times. Our height is what we just found which is what? 8.3066. 8.3066 times, we can say over one. Our height, that is the height of the prism. Remember I told you that when you stand this wall, this place is supposed to be under because it's a right angled prism. So it's supposed to be under. That means this becomes our height. This is the place that will be like this. So our height will be 16 cm. So let's go ahead and solve. Two divide itself, one divide 10. You are going to have five. So it means that our volume is what? 5 times 8.3066 times 16. And when you press that in your calculator, your answer will be. So let's go ahead and multiply this. 5 times 8.3066 times 16. You are going to have 664.5. 664.5. Five centimeter cubed, and this becomes your answer. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye.